Hello, hello, it's Al from MacMessage.com. Today's topic is, is CPU upgrade worth it for Mac? Before I can answer the question, let's first review several technical things. I promise I will try not to be very technical, but the topic is technical in nature. So what defines which CPU is more powerful? The CPU performance depends on three things. Architecture clock speed or gigahertz and the number of cores. Let's see the res test results of MacBook CPUs on Geekbench. Geekbench provides two numbers when comparing processor, single core and multi-core. So on this page you can see the single core results for three MacBook Pros. 16 inch MacBook Pro with Core i9 processor 13 inch with Core i7 and 16 inch with Core i7 also. As expected, at the top is MacBook Pro with Core i9. It's faster than two core i7 Macs. Core i5, i7, and i9 refer to different CPU architectures. I'm not going to explain you what the difference is here, it's out of scope of this video. All you need to know is that when Everything else is equal. i9 is faster than i7, and i7 is faster than i5. However, when architecture is the same, the clock speed makes a difference. So, you, as you can see on this picture, the Core i7 in 13 inch MacBook Pro is faster than the Core i7 in 16 inch MacBook Pro because the clock speed is higher, 2.8 GHz versus 2.6 GHz. I know that many people believe that CPU with more GHz should be faster. Well, it depends. Here's an email I received from one of my readers. Hi Al, I'm planning to buy MacBook Air 2019 Space Gray i5 1.6 GHz. I have doubts. All the models are 1.8 GHz which means the new model laptop is slower than all the model. So why he made this conclusion? He made conclusion based on the speed or clock speed or gigahertz. In his mind, if the CPU has higher gigahertz, then it's faster. Not in this case. So here is the comparison between CPUs in the laptops he mentioned in his email. One is 2017 non-retina MacBook Air and another one is 2019 MacBook Air. As you can see, the older model had a high clock speed 1.8 GHz versus 1.6 GHz in the new one, but the first model was released in uh, Q2 2015 when the new model was released in Q1 2019, so it's like four years uh, newer, the four year newer model and the architecture was different. That's why the newer model, even if it had a lower clock speed, has a much higher uh, CPU performance, 4227 versus 3542, like 20-30% improvement, even with the lower clock speed. So don't just look at the clock speed, look at the model, well, you know, the newer model should always be faster than previous models in most cases. So when the CPU speed matters, if all you do is browse the internet, watch YouTube, or work in Microsoft Word, then the speed does not matter at all. Because in all cases I mentioned, the processor uses only a fraction of its power. But if your program performs heavy mathematical operations, then faster CPU means the task will be completed faster. Examples of such tasks are uh, Bitcoin mining, professional video editing, not professional, professional 3D modeling, serious programming, and games, obviously. Games benefits from video card performance more than from main processor, but Apple gives you a better video card only when you upgrade the CPU as well. And finally, the number of cores. So what is a core? 
core is a logical CPU. You can think about cores as the number of CPUs in your computer. So the second uh, MacBook in this chart has six CPUs, when the third one had four CPUs. More is better, obviously, right? So when does the number of cores matter? This number matters in two instances. When you are running a lot of applications at the same time. For instance, if you start exporting a movie from iMovie app and it takes 30 minutes to finish, and at the same time you started playing Fortnite. If you had one core, that both apps will be running slow because the processor would have to switch between two programs back and forth, back and forth. In this case, if you add more cores, one core would be exporting uh, the movie at the full speed and another run the game at the full speed. So there's no switching between. However, opening multiple tabs in the browser does not mean you need more cores because most, most of the time the browser is waiting for you. So if you're thinking, well, I'm, I always like open 100, score, uh, 100 tabs in Chrome or Firefox, do I need more CPU? No, you don't. A second instance when you need more cores is when applications you run on your MacBook benefit from multiple cores. Uh, such applications are database servers, web servers, Bitcoin mining, professional video editing, professional 3D modeling. So any application that will benefit from multiple cores will work better on a MacBook with more cores. Conclusion. When do you need upgrade your CPU if you're doing one of the following things? Bitcoin mining, professional video editing, 3D modeling and image rendering. If you play games, if you run virtual machines, if you do programming seriously, or if you're running uh, servers, which is very unlikely, but if you run servers like database server or web server on your MacBook, you may benefit from a CPU upgrade. To learn more about this topic, go to my uh, blog post at macmesis.com slash CPU. Cheers.